first time filling up the 240 since I got the car. Today my goal is to get the car smogged. I'm gonna drive it around maybe like 10 miles before I get a smog. The reason why is because I got the car with the check engine light. Now the check engine light is not there. It all of a sudden disappeared. I'm not really sure what happened. If this thing passes smog, I'm pretty happy. $30 and done. Since owning this car, only small issues have been happening. I really want to show you guys though. Maybe on this drive, the problems will arise. Till then, I'm just gonna enjoy the car and how it drives right now. The main problem is going into first gear. Sometimes it grinds. I'm not too sure why yet. I'm gonna bleed the system once I get home, but I have to go on this drive while it does this. It didn't do it right there. Every time this thing grinds in first gear, it startles the hell out of me. That's why I'm always unsure of going into first. I hate going to first, so when I'm at a stop, I'm at a second and just roll. <laughs> That's what us Californians do anyway. What do you know, the check engine light showed up. Can't get the car smogged today anymore. Clutching all the way in first gear, watch. Oh, see, it did it right there. It only did it a little bit. Ah, see, right there. It happened once, now I'm gonna try to fix the problem at home. It's such a horrible noise, I feel like I'm breaking the car. For the 240, unlike my G, you have to like count these lights on the ECU. I'm gonna do that for the first time, see what goes on. <laughs> Literally someone didn't even mount this back up. The ECU is now on self-diagnostics mode. <laughs> I rotated this knob all the way clockwise. I'm gonna turn on the car and rotate it back, see what light it gives me. Let's do this again, because I forgot to record. All the way clockwise. Let me start the car now. You could see the light blinking. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's a five and five. Five fast, five slow. I'm do this now. Go all the way and go back to its solid. Now I'm searching up what the five five means. Oh, I see. I reset it so it needs to be three and two. I did it wrong when I was recording because the first time I realized I wasn't recording but then I restarted the ECU and it cleared the codes but what it showed me was three slow moving dots and then two fast ones. I'm thinking that means 32 because the first one's double digits and then the second one is single digits. If that is the truth then it's the EGR system which the previous owner told me. Basically, I confirmed what the previous owner said. Something to do with the EGR system. I'm really not familiar with all this. I'm gonna find out though, because I need to get my car smogged so I can register this thing <laughs> ASAP. Okay, unfortunately, it's an EGR related issue. I think I'm gonna hit that another day. I'm gonna do some super tiny little things, just taking off stuff of the car that I don't really want on anymore. First thing is this lip. It's all destroyed and I don't really like how there's only like a plastic piece right here and not on the side skirt or rear bumper. I don't really care if it's a tire. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna take off the under tray. That's just something I do to all my cars to make life easier when you're working on it and all that. Look at this bowl. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a channel lock and try to get that out. Good as new. Bye. This is all that's left. Pretty trash to me. Let me know what you guys think. See how there's no like plastic piece making it lower than the side skirt? I think it looks way cleaner than before.